Welcome everybody to Catfish Weekly along with Chad and D and Tom and Josh. Hi guys and D. Howdy everybody. Hello. Chad and D and Tom are on Gaston Lake. Now you're in Virginia, right? We are, and it's pronounced Lake Gaston. Okay. Sorry, you're getting fancy on us now. <laughs> It was named by the French. All righty yes. then. Gaston. <laughs> I'll, I'll take your word for it, dude. It's a beautiful night from what we're seeing out there. Just just at dusk and rods yeah. are all bent up. You got planer boards out, spot lock, letting the current take, a, take the boards out. Looks like you're going to have a fun night. If we can just, you know, it'd be great if you catch one, Chad. You well, know it would, it would, Lyle. You know, are you going to oh. let D catch one? Well, she she gets the first fish. That's right. There you go. There, there you go. go. Ladies first. You know, so, you know, the doc is where I caught the first live, fit, you know, fish on Catfish Weekly. Yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> Josh, you're still feeling under the weather tonight. Well, yeah, I still sound bad, but I feel fine. So do we. Did you get a bragging board put together for this week? I did, I did not. We uh, okay. Uh, Christina was off this week or today, and uh, we took the kids, gathered them up, and went and watched the eclipse. Because we were in the uh, once again, we were in the crossroads of uh, the full totality on that. So very good, very good. It was a big event. Went out, did some fishing. We had some nice weather today, so we we took advantage of that. Absolutely. I'm glad you guys got to do that. I have some results Brad Beck sent us from the Indiana yep. Catfish Association, and we'll go through them uh, right now. Fifth place was Mezer Smith and Newby with 28.16 pounds. Fourth place was L Surf Little Keller, 29.34 pounds. Third place was Brad Beck's and... Rafe Garrett with 30.30 .30 pounds. Second place, Corey Peterson and Travis Yost, 30.96. And they also had big set fish of 11.32 pounds. And first place was Mary Jane and Terry Holden with 40.94 pounds. Congratulations, you guys. Nice. On some great weigh-ins over there at the Channel Cat Tournament, uh, I assume. So uh, we appreciate Brad sending them results in. And... Uh, that was from the ICA from the weekend. And you guys, any of you that have results or current uh, uh, events that are coming up, if you'd like us to post them or tell about them on Catfish Weekly, just make sure you send them to one of us, and we'll make sure we get it get it done uh, during the next upcoming show. And uh, it's okay if, if you have an event coming up and you'd like it to be talked about. We can do that more than one week so if you send them to us in time you know we can we can get them in for a week or two uh let everybody know especially if it's a event where you're going to have people uh coming in from out of town so that's where we're at right now and uh we're waiting for chad and dd tom to catch a fish yeah yeah <laughs> how yeah. far are you from the world famous dock right now Oh, maybe 150 yards. 150 oh, wow. yards. Now, from the dock today, right before the eclipse, I believe, Chad, you was telling me that uh, Aaron caught a, what, a 50? Well, uh, Doug. Doug. Uh, Doug and Aaron are over there fishing, and Doug caught a 55.8, I believe it was. 55.8. Great fish. Yep, stole stole one of our fish. Well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> That's all right. He brought me some. He bought me some delicious maple bacon donuts. So maple I can't. The and the apple fritters, <laughs> and the cream filled donuts, oh, and the man. box of glazed. So I can't. I can't be too mad at him to be honest with no, you. No, I, I would think not. No, I think you got to give him that one. Let me see. I yeah, am going to. And it was a PB for Doug. So. Good for him. 
Yeah, I'm going to try to run to uh, folks that are in chat and uh, see how we get along with that. I want to say hello to Mike Sampson. He was the first in chat tonight. Downtown Ernie Brown, hope you're feeling better. Cool Cats Fishing. Uh, Brian B. John Boy's Catfishing. Mark with Catfishing Crappie. Member Mark with Catfishing Crappie. Joe Buck 66. Uh, Crappie Day Fish On. Catfish Fever and Outdoors. Catfish Regulators. Dustin Clark. Catch fish with us. Good evening to you, sir, or lady, whichever the case may be. Uh, David Funk has joined us. The Funkmeister has been killing it again out there on his lake, so good for him. Fish Sean, hello from Missouri. At least the wind was better today. Yes, it was better today, but uh, still blowing pretty heavy. Uh, setting hooks and crossing. Eyes. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? Brad Beck says, join us. Schmeter of the Cedars is in here. We're glad to see you. Schmeter. Schmeter of the Cedar, yeah. <laughs> uh, outdoors in Indiana with Dave Scott. Welcome, Dave. Ray Smith, member for 34 months. Thank you, sir. Sean Abney is in here. Uh, Get Hooked on D Fishing, which is in the boat. Member for 35 months. Thank you, D. Appreciate it. So very much. Buckeye Catfishing, Mark Barnum, Dougie Fresh Catfishing, Danny Stone Outdoors. Had a visit with Danny online today for a few minutes. Great to talk to him. Uh, let's see. It's all mine. Hi, Michelle. Glad to see you in here. Parker Pursuits, Bugman22, and Benoit Fishing and Outdoors. And I'm at the bottom of the list. I hope I didn't miss anyone. We're glad to see you all. Oh, there's two stands. Dale yeah, Hayes, they're Richard, still rolling right. in. Yeah, Richard from Fishing and Freedom in there. I don't I don't know how I missed him. Yep. Thank you. But I did. There he is. I see him now. Yeah, I am I'm, I'm um it's very likely that I would miss someone. Yeah. You guys don't let me do this very much anymore, so I'm I'm kind of I'm waiting for one. I'm, I'm watching, waiting for one of these rods to go down. Every time they bend, I think here we go. And yeah, well, there, there's a lot of bend right now. Like I said, these planer boards that are on on the channel side, on my side of the boat, are going absolutely crazy with all the currents coming through here. The ones on the bank side are doing pretty well. They're pretty steady where they're at. So. But before we go any further, he may not be he may not be watching right now because Mr. Fish and Fever and Mrs. Fish and Fever, they had their baby today. River Charlie Thomas Short. Yep, that's two middle names and healthy at eight pounds, six ounces. So congratulations, congratulations to Austin and his wife. Oh, we'll show a picture. Heck yeah, that's awesome. If I can get it. There you oh, go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Beautiful that's baby. Beautiful. That's looks like awesome. thank God. Yes, no kidding. <laughs> we have also got Dan Bauer. I, I hope I said that right. Joined us, Uncle Jeep, Uncle Lou, and and Uncle Lou's had some some uh, leg or foot issues going on. I seen a picture of him the other day where he had some surgery done or something. Hope he's doing well. Uh, he said Chad using chicken and shrimp. Uh, a negative. So I uh, hopefully Dockery's watching because we're using. White perch, bluegill, and crappie. They're, oh, nice. man. Yeah, you're going to make them mad. I'm evil. I'm evil laughing right now. I bet. Mark Barnum. Is River Cats Tackles joined us? Yes. Joe, Joe, Joe Newman. Newman. They're still rolling in. We're glad to have you all in here. Thank you so much. We'll try to pick up everybody as you come in, but if we if we miss you and don't see you, don't get upset because when this chat gets to rolling, it's hard to keep up with it, and uh, it's it's going right along right now with everybody saying hello to each other and the stuff going on. So, Chad, you 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 told us what kind of bait you're using. Uh, what kind of structure are you fishing tonight? Well, we're at a creek mouth right here, and I'm telling you before the show, this is where the spot where I caught my 35-pound PB flathead last year and where another person who won't be named, Freddie, <laughs> says that he owns this creek. He called it, he named it Freddie Creek. Really? 
Yeah. I've heard he, of he, being up that without a paddle. Yeah. <laughs> well, he did catch a nice 52 pounder out of this this little hole, but that is nice. So you yeah, you got a creek mouth that comes out right here and off of the bank, it drops off really pretty quick into the into the channel here. There's a couple different level channel or channels on the level, so or levels on the channel. There we go. That we're fishing right here. Well, you're losing your daylight quick, Chad. Yes, you are. But the yeah, rods are lit up good. But the guy's going to say we can see everything just fine. We're just losing the losing the background there. Chad, you're yeah. going to have to. Uh, you're going to be dealing with Chris, Miss Chrissy Brown. Uh oh. She said, uh, "Crap, uh, crappie." Um, yeah, I'm having an issue with that. <laughs> Chrissy Brown, member for 34 months. Thank you so much, Chrissy. I wish I lived in a state that would allow us, if we catch it on rod and reel, yep. to use crappie as bait. There is no reason why we couldn't. Two stands fishing says, thank God he looks like mom. If he looked like Austin, we'd have to come out with the Amish beard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Welcome, Robert. Glad to see you in here. Okay. Robert Mullins says, John Parker, you can show Chad how to catch fish. My buddy Chris from Hooks and Hammocks said we can see everything but Chad's face. Perfect. <laughs> I still can't see it. Sean Abney wanted to remind us that the Ohio State Blue Cat was, record was broken at 101.6. Nice. What's that? Which, nice. Yeah, it, it, they had a picture of it. Um, I don't want. I don't want to talk about that one. Okay, it was not caught on rod and reel. It was not. Now, see, it that's not. Off been, jug. I keep seeing that it come off a jug. Yeah, I haven't seen that. So then, that that's not. That's not a. Uh, it's illegal. Alternative. It's, illegal. It's, alternative. It's, a, it's a legal means of catching fish in Ohio. But yeah. they do not differentiate. So, oh, they don't. They do well, not see, differentiate sure alternate means. In Missouri, they call it alternative yeah. methods. I was wondering about that. Yep, it's all I one the same. That's a big fish to come off a jug. Yeah, it is. Most most jug fishing. We usually, we usually get numbers on jugs, not big fish. I, there's. Catfish regulars. I see Missy Kennedy has joined us. Uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, she yep. said there won't be fish caught on that boat unless D and Tom catches it. <laughs> wow. Very nice, wow. Missy. Hope you're feeling better, <laughs> by the way. Appar wrong. Apparently she is. <laughs> apparently. Now, where was that, that one you well, caught? I was, I was bringing up Benoit fishing outdoors had a question. They, she, they were asking uh, who all went out fishing during totality today for the eclipse. I did. Were you out fishing today during that? Yeah. It just looked like it clouded up where I was at. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, I it, never even stopped casting. We had perfectly sunny skies. And then oh, it was sunny as can be pretty much. And it yeah. darkened up and we fished all during it. So yeah, I didn't have any any issues. I I noticed it was was happening, but it didn't slow me down. I, I just kept going. I was trying to catch some bluegill and and uh, didn't have any success. That's what we were catching today, just fishing for whatever bite. We caught a lot of bluegill, and John caught a bluegill on his new uh, Paw Patrol rod and reel. So. Very yes. nice. Awesome. And, uh, but he was excited. He was having fun. He caught. A, he actually caught two or three today, so. There's Lance McCougai, a Hawaiian fisherman. Said he's listed while frying catfish and shrimp po' boys for dinner tonight. That sounds really good. It sure does. There's Nubbies has joined us. Buck Williams. Big Bill. Welcome, buddy. We're trying, Bill. We're trying. We got some primo baits out there. We got some good bait. Fresh. That's, all, that's what we were doing right before the... Uh, apocalypse eclipse thing <laughs> um we were all me d and tom and we went up to the bait spot and was catching some bait and we uh got back to the house 
uh, right before it happened, and we all stepped out there on the porch and watched the eclipse, and then we took a nap, uh, you know, in, in preparation for an, another amazing meal cooked by Miss Michelle. Oh, I bet that was good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Well, yeah, you almost didn't have any of us on the screen here because we ate and we were sitting there like, oh, I don't know if we can go back out. We might need another nap after this. <laughs> Outdoor Wicked Adventures has joined us. Aaron, I've been out here for 15 minutes. <laughs> the doc has a 58 and two others. 58 of 13 and a 6 So what... Chad, what does well, Chad have? Well, to be fair, though, he's been fishing for like eight hours. I've been fishing for like a half an hour. But well, you've been talking about the sleeping you've been doing. Nope. <laughs> Don't fall over. Did he let go? You got it? I don't know. She won't say nothing. Got it. Got it? Got it. Got it. All right. Let's go. Is it running towards the boat? <laughs> then while fishing outdoors, caught my personal best it's golf. Not, it's it's golf that's awesome. Chad's stand, Chad standing up. And I, could have, I could, have, could have jumped on it. Well, is he it's gone? Oh, no. Losing? He came off. Oh. We'll let it sit there for a minute, and then we'll fish on, fish off. Check out, check it out. He had it. He had it doubled. I love it when they bend over like that. And Missy said, "Told you, he or Tom would have to catch it." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Stan, there was a Chad Eclipse. Chad Eclipse D there for a second. <laughs> oh, man. And the mojo is gone just like that. Chad, you're killing Danny Stone. <laughs> yeah, and that's a uh, that's a full full fish there. That was a, with a stinger stinger on it. Wow. That was like a white perch. Uh. That's okay, horrible. Dan. You just keep watching those two rods. They're giving you some anxiety, and you and Richard will be okay. <laughs> Trust me, they're getting us too. It's like, oh, is it? <laughs> just got a message from you. My local conservation agent, uh, I messaged James Dockery about this morning about uh, whether rock bass, which are called Google Eye here, Goggle Eye, and, and they're also called Warm Mouth, all the same fish, um, about whether they're legal to use for bait. And the conservation agent actually uh, addressed, sent me to a couple other agents because he couldn't answer that hmm. question. Either. Hmm. So, what's that? I said that's going to be a fun one. Well, I, I don't. I've been catching several of them this year, but I do not want to use them for bait and get in trouble. You know what I mean? Right. Well, yeah. Actually, I prefer to. I would yeah. like to try Dockery's favorite fish. Uh, just to try them, but I can't, you know, <laughs> I, I can't make myself cut up a crappie and not eat it. I, <laughs> oh, yeah. they're, they're, they're good catfish bait, though. I'm sure they are. I would much rather use a big mouth bag. Yeah. <laughs> they're even the back bait, right? <laughs> what was that, Dean? You broke up. They're even better wild bait. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Rowdy Royal has joined us, joined us fishing with the squirrel. Greg Burgess. Greg says, hello, Lyle, Josh, Chad, D. Good luck to you guys. 
Or Thank good you. to see you guys. Good to see you. Yeah, it, hey, ain't no kidding right there. Warmouth is channel cat candy. All right. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Yeah. I don't see where you shouldn't be able to use them for bait. Well, here's the one I was trying to get to. Did the same thing with eel in Missouri. Had to talk to the district head guy. He said we can use them. Yeah, I, I've I never knew that there was a question about eel. But if you're in doubt, and it doesn't matter what state or or body of water you're fishing, if you're in doubt about something, go ahead and get a hold of somebody yeah. and get clarification because fines for stuff like that are pretty pricey. Okay. Yeah, that's going, that's going, that's going, that's going. Real, 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 real. Catch up with it. Yeah. Yeah. Fish on. Fish on. All right. Jerry Parker says, I don't believe goggle eye, a.k.a. shadow bass, are the same thing as war mouth, two different species. Huh? Jerry, you look them up on Missouri Conservation website and just type in either one of them. Uh, they'll come up as all the same fish. I've been yeah. through that the last couple of days trying to figure this out. It's not going to be very good. Hmm. This, this is a fish. He screamed it, though. Chad, Chad. You're eclipsing D again. <laughs> nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Fish Nothing on. To see. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. <laughs> Both times Chad stood up, D's lost her fish. Chad just he, needs to he, stay, he's stay, stay sitting down. That's right. He, he's getting too close to D, and that bad juju's rubbing off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stand up until she told me it was on. <laughs> I heard wow. goose. Yeah. W says that's a long distance release. There we go. Everybody's saying go, D. They want you to catch it, D. They really do. I know. I really want to, too. Even <laughs> if it's, you know, only a 7.92 like yesterday. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Any fish caught on live is good. Right. Check this out. Chris from Hooks and Hammock says, is Big Mouth Chad a legal bait? That's a great question. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that friends can rag on each other and not get yeah. mad. <laughs> oh, yeah, real funny, guys. <laughs> oh, Parker. <laughs> Jim. Okay, Tom, the deal is the next oh, one is oh, down oh. Yeah, apparently, oh, you yeah. Tom with it. Tom's going to be in the game, guys. Come on. Right. Come to Papa. <laughs> Andy, are you guys using hooks or just tying the bait to the end of the line? Oh, we were supposed just, to use hooks? <laughs> I know guys that do tie bait on, use them with, uh, with uh, safety pins, with pre-fishing for tournaments so they get to take down and not sore mouth fish. I don't believe that matters, but a lot of people do. Oh, I thought you said if, if you're talking about hooks and hammocks. I was like, he keeps it up, and I'm going to use him for bait. <laughs> Are you saying he's small enough he'd fit on a hook? If I chunked him up, yeah. <laughs> you can put him on that stinger, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris, they're both on you now. <laughs> oh, oh, man. 68 <laughs> folks watching live, if you don't mind. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. We appreciate it. It's not every day we get a live one, uh, a live broadcast uh, at night when we do our show. So 
We appreciate Chan doing that for us tonight. There's Pontoon Jody. She's driving and listening. We just got hit by a runaway tree. <laughs> nice. Is is the uh, is the water level rising while you guys are there? No. That's too bad. It, because there's so many houses on this lake, this lake pretty much is like flat, even when they're running water. Okay. They really because Kerr Lake is above this one. There were yeah, so they drain it into this one, but they they kind of keep the flow even so the the water level doesn't flood anything. Yeah, there's a dam at the other end. They just open one and open the other, let it keep right on going, right on through. Yeah. Brian, yeah, where do you come up with this stuff? Need some clarification on this, Lyle. Brian says breaking news. Last Saturday, Lyle admitted he loves using chicken breast for catfish bait. I promise you that did not happen. <laughs> Lyle, who? Because it wasn't Stokes. No, it was not. <laughs> it's not that I haven't used it and not that I wouldn't use it again. But it just don't work for me. I mean, so, yeah, I'm probably not going to be using much of it. But tell you what. If it's and hard, if bait's hard to come by and you want to fish, you'll use whatever you come up with. After the dinner that I had tonight that was chicken, I solidified know. never using chicken for bait. Not going to waste it on no fish, huh? No. Oh, my God. It was so good. I'll bet. Buck Williams said he sent a fish into the bragging board. Chicken cutlet. You know it's got to be good because it's one of Michelle's favorite. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Buck, I promise you to make it on, but we we didn't get one this week. Plus, it was uh, the way I'm talking now is about the best I've been able to talk all day. I got up this morning, couldn't even make a word. I bet Christina was so happy. I'm sure she was. <laughs> Robert Modlin says. The only thing Jody is driving is James crazy. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm anxious to see so Buck's fish. That'll, That'll be a good one. Yeah, I'm about to take a look at that. Heck yeah. Sean T. Outdoor says, is the bragging board still a thing? Oh, it no, is no. still a thing, but Heck we yeah. don't have one this week. Now, all the entries for this week, since Josh right. is feeling under the weather, Will be they'll on next on, week. Yep, they'll go on next week, so I'll have a big board. Yep, it'll be a good one next week. I might have to get some screenshots of those fish that John caught today because we didn't get a picture, but we had enough cameras running. We'll be able to get a screenshot of it. But good, good. And and John is how old now? Three? It'll be, it'll be three in June. Yeah, I knew it was close. Sean. Everybody else picks on me. You might as well, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're big enough. You can take it. <laughs> oh, I can take it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Hope everything's going all right. He said you had a family emergency last night. Keep Jerry and his family in your prayers, guys. Absolutely. We don't want anything going wrong with, with Jerry and his family. Yeah, Sean, he's, he's growing like a weed, man. Hard to believe. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but he's getting fun. Couldn't get him to... And we throw that out there today. You had that bobber, could not get him to just let that sit. <laughs> Everything you had to let it sit. That's hard to do sometimes. When it, when he would, he'd let that bobber sit. They'd take it under, and he'd he'd reel them in. <laughs> now, have you practiced him up at home <laughs> reeling them in? Uh, he play he plays with he. Every time he gets gets his hands on a fishing rod, he picks it up and reels on it. So okay. He was he was getting on to uh, 
getting on to Caitlin today when we were headed out there. He's, she said something about that fishing rod. That's my fishing rod. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to Sean T, says, Sean T says, man, I remember when he was born. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> that's a yeah, fact. It's going by fast, that's for sure. It, it sure does. Ted, uh, why don't you tell everybody about the lights? You told us about them before the show started. Those things are doing a bang up job. Well, yeah, there, there are two. We went over to a home. I'm sorry. What's that place that uh, that Keith Lakes? Keith Lakes oh, Harbor Freight. Oh yeah, a little known place called Harbor Freight. <laughs> um, we were. I was. We actually went over there looking for something else, and I was like, "Hey, let's check out their lights." So they have these 500 lumen lights that they almost look like a flashlight with a flat wand at the end that folds over and they're U, uh, USB charged and pretty nice. We just got them zip tied to the uh, Bimini rod. So. Do you have any idea at all how long they will last on a single charge? We're going to find out tonight. We're going to find out tonight. So we'll be able to get that information next week. Well, hopefully we'll find out tonight. Yeah. We plan on fishing for a little while. Well, is, is that your only light source? That is our only light source. The complex light I used to have, the can, the cord's broken. I just haven't fixed it. So, Well, why is that? I don't know, because I'm busy and it's not thinking oh. about it. Oh. There's John Parker. Welcome, my friend. John, John Parker got have, some good fish today. I do have a question. Since you're in the boat and on vacation, are you missing things at work yet? Absolutely not. Okay, just check. <laughs> Especially since I, I had to get up at 6 a.m. to do some reporting work for my boss and send it off. Uh, hopefully, that's the last time I have to get, uh, get on and all this week, but here's the light. So it's right here. These Braun 500 lumen LED rechargeable. And the bottom of the bottom is actually magnetic. So if you, you could use them for other things, like you working on your car, they'll, they will, um, hold on to your, like the roof of your car and stuff. So, wow. That's and, and the, the top piece, it's uh, you can rotate it any direction you want. You know, it's got like a 360, 180 degree turns and stuff. So, well, they're pretty bright. Yeah, they're lighting it up good, and they're not over. They're not over lighting it either. Yeah, but, yeah, they're not blowing it out. They, they yeah. look nice. LEDs. Um, Tina says she has a couple of those. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, for photography, that's great, yeah. Um, LEDs have really taken over the lighting industry since they've come out. Oh, and, oh, and yeah. They should have. They should have. I don't know what the heat value is on them. Uh, Christina might, but uh, those things work out really well. I, I've been using LEDs, and we videoed off of them and everything else, but I crisscross mine so I don't get any shadows. And, but now I, have, now I have four lights, two up a above and two just a little bit lower uh and i mean you can read a book in there but, yeah, you know, we don't do much much night fishing think days. about how far you've come lyle in, in lights remember you know, back when you had like oil lamps and um uh, just candles to where josh, we are right, where, where we are now josh i can't take him out tonight because he's got d and tom yeah. in there Maybe he's not. <laughs> just gotta listen to it Ain't that bad. That's no good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Guys jumping up trying to take these fish away from it. No, make try to make sure that the boards are at a good little distance apart there. What um what kind of reels are you using? These are on the ones that are on the back here are all Abu Garcia zombie cats now you have 
side rods also besides the six? Yes, we do. How yeah, many we'll rods do. total are you using? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay. Is is there an unlimited amount to be is that used? Left? Is that going? Do what? Is that? It looked like that orange rod on the left. No, I think it's a shadow. It looked like it was going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's ones that we're uh, testing out for facing cats. He, he, he uh, they're medium action rods, and he's like, they're channel cat rods. I, I probably wouldn't do use them in a place like Bammer or whatever. Very big. I was like, challenge accepted. They like, don't yeah. handle a fish, but they're meant for <laughs> channel yeah. cats. <laughs> Watch them. Yeah, I, that's the first thing I'd be doing to put try to put them on a blue or, or a flathead. <laughs> yep. yep. I can yeah. tell you that I pulled in that tiny blue it, yesterday. Yeah, 7.92 pounder. It was a 7.92, and I it was so easy to reel in that I really thought that the fish had gotten off wow. <laughs> until I felt head shakes. It handled it really well. And then, That's of course, cool. we got our FOA rods dropped right now, too. We need more rod holders because I got more rods that need to be, need to be being used. Drift Master. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> hey, you know, we all have, and they're all good. It's all not like fish holders. finders. The three of us don't use the same fish finders. No, we don't. None of us use the same ones. We don't use the same rod holders. So. But it makes for some interesting conversation. But, uh, yeah, it does, and it all works. So, Yeah, just Garmin works better. I don't know about that. Jeff Beal has joined us. Cindy from Outdoor Adventures has joined us. Uh, Christina says, I want to say that I have never completely run them down. Ooh but I tend to turn my lights off during breaks. So she's put a lot of, of time on her lights. So yeah. this is going to be a good test for them tonight. There's Harley Neal. Welcome, Harley. Wow, what's up, Harley? Jody says, I wired two marine LED lights to a toggle switch. And they have their own battery on. Little move. Easy peasy. Always have lights with no work. I um, that works fine, and I've done the same thing, Jody. But I highly recommend wiring in a relay just in case. Yeah, uh, man. You know that's a good thing with LEDs. Now they're not drawing. They don't. They don't pull much. No. No, they're not pulling a whole lot of current. So. Back when we were running halogens and everything, you had to get away without using a relay. No, you couldn't. And relays, really, I've got a schematic for them. But, not you do, but you do always need a fuse. Set and hooks and always need a fuse. Always need a fuse. Yep. Within 6 to 12 inches of your battery. Yeah, the closer the better. Closer the better. Yep, that's a fact. And just put a... put a um, Best way to do it is just put a, a lug on it that you can... Put over your battery post. One yeah. of the, most of the marine batteries all got screw on things and just wired up that way. And I like the AT fuses because they're easy to take on in and out. I will tell you that the bugs like these lights. Um, yeah, they kind of like most of them. Yeah. To Stan says, I think all the competition out there actually makes all better products better. That's true. And That's it comes true. down to what works best for you and what people or companies want to support. I agree, Stan. Yeah. I agree. Ooh, Sean T says he's going to bed. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Sean. <laughs> Much. Better not be a bass like earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even standing up because it'll come off. Tom says he's got it. All right. 
We got seventy people watching, only forty-one thumbs up. Come on, folks. Come on, we can now. Get you to get your fish in here. That way, people give us a thumbs up. That's why they're not catching no fish. Don't have enough thumbs up. Fish. Yeah, Danny Stone says I bought an LED lamp from Timu that said eight hours run time. I spent eight hours running to the truck Saturday to charge it up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Danny should have videotaped it. Yep. Coming to this side. Well, he was fishing that tournament Saturday, wasn't he? I don't know. That Uno tournament? Oh, I think he was, yeah. Christina says those put off a super bright white light that equals bug magnet. 100% correct. That's all, yeah, you need that on a night. There's a mayfly hatch. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. 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 I'm telling you, it was awful. That mayfly hatches are horrible. Man, you gotta take that. We saw so many fish that night Look coming up. And all um, those I'm get out, bro. Yeah, yeah, they just go on. Um, uh, that way, fish in the boat. <laughs> That's right. I thought they might be big down there. Awesome. We don't need to scale them. Tom, did you say that's a channel cat? Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Yep, it's channel cat. <laughs> We're not known for our big channels here. It's not only big, but it might be, might be bigger than. He's bigger than 712. It's a PB. Wow. Stan That's said cool. Danny was in that tournament. He got a and got a nice one on the bank. He finished sixth. Okay, I thought he was. I thought he was fishing there. I never saw him. Well, Cody, you're crazy. She says she can't wait for the mayflies. Yeah, I, I can live without them. No, oh, I hate those things. Keokuk, Iowa was about as bad a place for mayflies as I've ever been. They have had times when they were so slick on the roads that they'd take graders and grade them off. So it, it's just horrible up there. We had a tournament up there in the, in the hatch one time, and my buddy John Nordyke camped in a tent up there, and they w was on the tent so bad there was a pile of them all the way around where they slid off the roof at night. Yeah, it, it was awful. Well, babe, you might need to produce some lights. Okay. Those things smell awful. They do. They're terrible. Christina says they'll get stuck in her hair. Girl, no. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. We're going to get them. We're going to get the cicada hatch. Yeah, I think so. We're just going to get them all close. Can you guys see it? Nope. You're froze up. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I can hear you, but can't see you. Ah. There, there you are. Go. You're back yep, now. Yep. We're back? Okay. Yep. That's a nice one. That's a real nice cat. Hey, Good job, yeah. Tom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure he's going to be 712, but he's a decent size. He is good. And most importantly, the skunk is off the bone. There, there you go. go. Any fish caught live is a great fish. Yes, it is. I'm not used to fighting fish in the current, man. <laughs> but this current was ripping. He felt a lot bigger than that. <laughs> and they know how to use current. They all do. Mark says, nice channel cat. There we go. Jody says, you keep a broom on your boat to sweep them out. Five pounds, seven ounces. Nice. 5.7. It's on pounds. So it'd be about five pounds last. Yeah. Yep. All right. One more look at him. See him. Thirty. What's that fish say? Eater's full of crap. Is that what he said? 
<laughs> Either that or please don't deter me. <laughs> right. oh, man. Ryan says flathead bite is good when the mayflies are hatching. I wonder if that's because all the bait fish are up the top of the water. Yeah, they come up there to the top. We did all the work. Yeah. That night we were out in that one, man, it was there was just all around the boat stuff coming up eating. Hey, there's Jeremy from Creole uh, Catfish. Hey, Jeremy. Up here. Welcome, buddy. Remember when we those two crossed right that over? Yeah. That was bad. Catch fish with us, says we do love us some channel cats. Me too. Wrong with channel. channel cats, one of my favorites. Oh man, I love channel cats. And I love channel cat tournaments because oh, the yeah. weigh ins are so close oh. within ounces. Thanks for showing us how to put a fish in the boat. That's it. Yeah. We got, we got one of those coming up pretty soon, Lyle, but uh, unfortunately, we're not going to build a fish. Oh man. It's on the 4th of May. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Where's the tournament at? Uh, it's at Rin Lake. Oh, Rin? Yeah, Who's Josh putting Fuller's, it on? Josh Fuller's putting it on. It's part of the uh, Rin Lake catfishing group. Okay. Good and, deal. Uh, this is about the third or fourth one he's had. He's He puts on a good tournament. so That'll be fun. <laughs> Danny that said five pounds, seven ounces. He just weighed the plate of shrimp cat head staff on the river. Don't be fishy tours. Half that out there right. in the Mayfly hat. 28 <laughs> striped bass in one throw. I don't doubt it. I caught Hell a yellow yeah. bass today, Lyle. What's that, buddy? I said I caught a yellow bass today. Did you now? Yeah, it was a, a pretty decent size of a yellow bass. They fight hard. Oh, I like that they make good bait, too. Again, that's one I'd have to check regulations on because I'm pretty sure there. If it's not a game fisher, according to what I read, if it's not a game fish, it's legal to use. Right. Yeah, uh, they're, they're a nuisance. They're a rough fish. Right, and, and you know, as I, uh, just so you know, Chad, you're locked up again. Yeah. We got good audio with you, but your your videos. <laughs> we got a nice picture of your tush. It's pretty nice. Well, that'd be debatable, I think. Oh, it's so tiny, you know. Get a load of this. Cat fi or catch fish with us. So we loaded about? 16 channel cats for 117, 173 pounds Saturday nice. night. Very wow, nice. on 16 fish. That's, that's we lost, great. We lost Chad. He'll be back. Deal fix it for him. Yeah, he's like a bad penny. He'll just turn up. <laughs> That's a fact. Mark says yellow bass are a scourge where scourge, he lives. Yeah, they're a pain in you know what. I like to catch them. If they're good bait and they're legal, I'm good with all that. Yeah. They are fun to catch. They do fight hard. That's a hell of a 16 channel cat for 173 pounds. That's I awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. There they are. Better, yeah. What you did? You use these phone? No, I just left and reopened it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but yeah. So now Tom has joined some elite <laughs> ranks of the very few people that have ever caught catfish live on Catfish Week. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it is. Mark says they take yellow bass out of the chain up there where he lives during the winter by the sled folds. They hey, must Lyle, just, just so you know, I did the math on that on that 16 channels for 173 pounds. It means an average fish size of 10.8. Wow. That's a that's nice, nice. Yeah, Heck that's yeah. the numbers there. That is Mendota number there. Chad to retrieve his phone. <laughs> where, where did he lose that? It was Wally he lost that on, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, my God. Are we still talking about that phone? Uh, yes, we are. Yeah. Well, now know. this phone is in the center of the boat. It is fine. We <laughs> lost one the same weekend. Yeah. Yep. 
But you got yours back. Yeah, I got mine back. Well, yeah, you dropped it in four inches of water, and it took you a week to get it. <laughs> well, actually, what Michelle was getting on Chad. Yeah. He uh, <laughs> said he was saying he was thinking about a new phone, and Michelle said, well, it's a lot of water out there, Chad. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yep, she, she, cut, she cut me deep on that one. Look at those two. Oh, okay. oh, please bite. Please bite. Stan says catch fish with us won the catfish Uno tournament from Sandusky Bay with those channel cat numbers. That's I awesome. can understand that. Man, them's some big numbers. Those, got, those marks right there just got me really watching these rods. That, that might be a whoever gets to it first type fish that I just marked on that screen. Get out of the way. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you broke the skunk way, for us. Or so. <laughs> Robert Mylon says, Wow, did you know Dieter is a gas expert? I did not, but it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Man, it's just peaceful water out there. There's no. Did you see the current that was in that lake before the it got dark? It was rocking and rolling out there. Yeah, it, it, it's there's it's coming down through here a pretty good clip. Now and then I'll see debris go by and step into the light on about the side of the boat, moving pretty quick. Yeah. Richard wants to know if you get Netflix on your TV in that boat here, Chadwick. Not yet, but... We just uh, haven't signed into our account. No. Yeah. <laughs> Roger with Muskrat Adventure says any fish. They just caught a, what was it, almost six-pound channel cat? Yeah, about 5.7, yeah. was it? Yep. Chad missed a couple of fish, beating D to the rods. Yep. How the hell did I get blamed for the two misses? Because you're, you're the hitter. Don't get the fish in the boat. It's your fault. Captain. Oh, man. Glad you joined us, Roger. Jerks. <laughs> Well, you know, everybody's got one story. Oh, Roger said he caught uh, eight fish before the eclipse and only one after. Makes yeah, you wonder how it was going to do with it. I was wondering how the eclipse, if how it would affect anything. Oh. It brought the bass out. We were bait fishing, and yeah. Tom couldn't catch anything but bass. <laughs> and then he wouldn't let me keep any of them for bait. Oh. Yeah, but he's a reformed bassaholic. That's right. <laughs> I, could I could tell you after bait fishing today, he's still got it. <laughs> I bet he does, too. Do you still have your boat, Tom? Yeah, yep. I know there was a nice boat. spot in my driveway. Yep. Yeah. I, I know there was some talk about that a few a couple of years ago about whether you was going to keep it or get rid of it. I think well, Michelle I, claimed it to be hers at that point. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's sat so long now that I, I'm a, I'm I've got to get everything all the fluids changed before I even attempt to start it anymore. It's sat for oh, so long. I understand. I, I went through that a couple of years yeah. ago. Yeah. Catfish regulator says nothing stops the magic of the dock. Yep. There's a lot of fish being caught off that day. Bass fishing expert. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the Potomac. <laughs> before today, uh, before Aaron or oh, Doug caught his 55, and then the two that they've caught since, we were already up to almost. Uh, 700 pounds for the year. Keeping a log again. So wow. That's a pretty good year so far. Yeah. We had had, uh, I think we were up over 70 total fish. 
Wow. Nice. Really nice. That is nice. That is nice. In reality, we've had a harder time catching bait so we can catfish than we have catching catfish. Really? And what is the bait of choice out there this time of year? Probably bluegill. Bluegill. Yep. But okay. they, yeah, when, when the white carts are running through here, which seems to be at night, we're able to catch those. That that they'll hit them pretty readily. Okay. But we've you, had you shad, not even putting any bites on. Them. On shad, on shad. Yeah. Yep. Really. In in the winter and in late fall, early spring, and through the winter, uh, shad is the bait of choice in my area. Uh, but you guys don't have skipjack out there, do you? No, no. Nope. Yeah. We got now, shrimp and shad over in Kerr. And Kerr has a big population of the shad. And over there, that is the bait of choice. But there's yeah. just not as many of them in this lake. And we don't really, we haven't gotten a bite on it, I don't think, all year long. I'll be darned. That's strange. Or it yep. sounds strange to me. Yeah. What about um, what about water that shad doesn't work on? So yeah, it's hard to understand, isn't it? I mean, that's one of our primary forages. So now, yeah. are are you in coastal water out there? No, we're about two hours, two and a half hours inland from the coast. Okay, so you don't have American shad either. Nope. That's good I, to know. I heard Lyle prefers to use those Russian shad. The what? What? Russian shad instead of the American. What is wrong? <laughs> Did everybody speak to I will say, at least I may have to shut those two up. Because <laughs> we said the same thing at the same time. We said, what's wrong with him? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Danny Stone says the number of fish we have been catching this year has fallen, but the quality has went way up. Oh, I'm glad to know that, Danny. If, if, if you're catching fewer of them, they might as well be bigger. This, that, only sounds, that only makes sense to me. How about you, Josh? Yeah, well, and the Mississippi's got a little bit more water this year than it had last year, so. Last year was horrible for the rivers. Last year was awful. I'm hoping that that doesn't fall through this year, but um, I know, showed we've been, on, we've been up around flood stage around here for a week or so now, so. That's good. I mean, the, the right 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 yeah, I sent you guys a picture earlier where I was at, where James, I took James and Katie and, and Chad and Dee out to this place and uh, I fish underneath the bridge most of the time. Well, a tree washed through one of the holes in the bridge, and it's jammed up to where I normally fish, and you can't you can't fish it. So uh, I'm sure them kids that go out there at night and party and and fish will tie a rope or a chain around that, and it'll be gone probably the next time I go. They're not going to be able to stand it being out there without hooking on to it. No. Which suits me. Well, it's yeah. really good to see that you got fish in the boat tonight, Chad. Yeah, we at least made it another fishing show. That's right. And Danny, that's the truth. Get that river to stabilize just a little bit, and it's going to be on fire. I agree. Well, our, the Ohio where we're at went from 28 feet to 52 or 53 feet. I can't. You so know, like, it's weird that river jumps up and down. Like it does. Yeah, it did it. It went up that much in like two to three days, and now it's start it's starting to come down. And by I think it was Wednesday, Thursday, it'll be completely back down. Wow. Oh wow. So there's a lot of water heading down that way. Yep. Creel says at this point I'm hoping it stabilizes before July for the tournament. I bet you are. 
Bookman wants to know if you're going to stay live after this, uh, Chad. Uh, we'll see if we go live again. Um, I'll probably hang out with you guys talk for a few minutes, and we'll see how we feel. And we might just relax and do some fishing. I got you. Yeah, well, yeah Roger, it's, uh, we had a bout of the, we're thinking it was influenza, went through the house. It got me, Christina, both the kids, mm -hmm. all of them. And uh, anytime we get something like that, it always tends to affect my voice. So I'm back to feeling good. I feel fine, but uh, it's just hard to talk. Well, at least we can understand you. There's been times when we couldn't. There's been times yeah. when you couldn't. Yeah, that's the truth. There was one time you just didn't do the show on account of it. Yeah, so I, had to get, I had to get Dockery to uh, fill in for me, and I, was, I almost thought that was going to have to be another one today. <laughs> uh, but I got up this morning. I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't make any words out. Wow. And uh, I got to strain pretty hard to even talk right now <laughs> as it is. So. I would like to know what those big, big marks, two or three big marks that came through earlier were. They was fish. They were mark. They were huge. Roger says, lucky for him, he'll be in Alabama next week. Oh, that sounds fun. Ryan B says, Chad, you better go live or you will be fined. Brian B. Better supper. He'd be fired. I already <laughs> found his replacement. I already got him on the show. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> I'm going to leave that for you. Uh, the next yeah, comment. Of Brian. Leave that. Leave that. <laughs> can we, can we, yeah, let me try to do that, Danny. See if I can make that one happen. Ain't nobody wants to watch us go live. Catfish and crappie, Mark says, is that a fat joke? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man, you guys. There's something else. What else we got going? Have you got a full house on the dock this week, Tom? Uh, Aaron comes uh, when he feels up to it. Uh, I'm not sure how much if we're going to fish the dock at all since uh, we have the boat here with us. Okay. Yeah, we got a floating dock. Yeah. This okay. Is an extension of the dock. How how far are you going to to fish away from the dock? Are you going to make, uh, do some traveling, or are you going to stay fairly fairly local? Oh, no, yeah. We uh, we went, what, probably two miles, mile and a half, two miles down? Yeah. Probably two miles, at least, down down uh, the lake yesterday. And uh, it was tough yesterday. They, they're having this, you know, they turn the water on in the morning for like three or four hours, then shut it off, and then turn it back on in the afternoon, in the evening. So it's just a matter of what we can do, you know, what when – based on what the situation is. Well, you know, it it's always better when you got got uh running water. Yeah. yeah. Well we ain't leaving so early that we miss breakfast. <laughs> oh, wow. It's also different. What you guys are used to out there is constant flowing water. We well we get out here in the East Coast and a lot of, like in this instance it's it's running water and then it just shuts off, just like the Ohio River when they shut it, you know, down. The flow goes from 0.5 to four and a half, five mile an hour current, and then it's yeah. back it straight down. And the fish don't know what the hell's going on, and neither do I. Oh, <laughs> yep. that's true. Chad Bryan says he'll read chat for you. Ah, until ten or ten fifteen, huh? Yeah, as long as you don't. don't <laughs> Danny says you got to do what the vote count says, or there'll be consequences. Wow! <laughs> what I won't be allowed to come to Missouri and fish in the Mississippi River again? 
<laughs> right now, 88% said you need to go live. Well, I would like to know who the uh, 12% are that said no. They don't want to see me go live. They say they prefer golf. Wow. <laughs> wow. And even with me and Tom on the boat, they said yeah. that? I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very nice. Yeah, we want names. Who are you? <laughs> Creole says the fun is just beginning at four mile an hour. Oh, yeah. And, four, and four he's correct. Mile. Slow Tuesday Hello? for Creole. He is correct. See anything in that? Aaron's flashing a light at us. Aaron's flashing a light from the bank at us. Uh oh. What does that mean? We're probably on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> <laughs> You're in his lines. <laughs> <laughs> I have another fish on over there. Man, you know Morse code. You can send each other messages. Yeah. And if not, you can just. If only I had a phone. All right, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything. I'm not. Hey, Matt. Says, says he's glad to see everyone is still here. I thought maybe we'd sneak in and get another one. Catfish Regulator says, this go in front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. B said that's not Regulators, it's him. He's on the dock. Come get him. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he uh, stole my fishing spot tonight. That's where I was going to He got jealous because last night when I went live, <laughs> I, was in, I was in that spot just out on the boat. And he he, no. he wasn't about to let me have that tonight. He was like, right, watch this. Man, look at the food chat. Or look at the food talk in chat. You got Matt eating 10 pounds of mud bugs. Wow. Richard said Stephanie just gave him a big piece of chocolate cake and a glass of milk. Wow. Good night, buddy. Danny Stone wants to know if Chad will come back to the Mississippi if we can get that Dunnigan guy to show up. You might have a better chance of getting me there if he don't. Oh. Oh, that is true. Yeah, that's oh, true. Wow. <laughs> uh, One minute. Stan's... My Dunnigan guy, do you mean John? Oh, <laughs> well, go see John and Christina and Caitlin. <laughs> Ann says, does that mean Michelle brought regulators food to the dock? Oh, no, he door dashed it. He just hasn't paid his. Uh, Pay for bill. the F two fifty that delivered it. Oh, I see. Well, I know she has taken food down to that dock before. Oh man, all the time. Well, I guess he actually he did he did I guess he did pay the door dasher because he brought the donut. He brought, he brought the donuts. Yeah, and he gave yeah. us some bait. And he gave us some bait. Yeah. Oh, looky there! That's a pretty good deal then. <laughs> Josh will wait till you're here and then he'll show. That's right. <laughs> Lance said he got a big old cream puff. Aaron says that's okay. I'll just take the donuts back with me. <laughs> okay, I'll lock the door. Yeah. <laughs> Almost brought the box with us. <laughs> hey, donuts no hey, Northview Outdoors, welcome. You almost missed us tonight. You're getting close. Yeah, yeah getting very close. Um, Chad or Tom caught one channel cat tonight. Been an interesting night. They're having a good time out there, though. Thank you. So uh -oh. he's fishing. You, you can tell it hit 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. No, it's 8 o'clock. You can tell it just hit 9 o'clock. I just started yawning. It's only eight. It is nine o'clock. Nine oh nine. Not here. Not here. <laughs> you fix your clocks. Oh, that's change. right. You guys are on that Chicago time. Wow. No, no. Chicago's on our time. Yes. <laughs> 
Danny Stone says the vote is 90% for Chad to go live. If he doesn't, that means he's only likes 10% of the people. There we go. <laughs> Man. Here we go. That's rough right there. Well, it'll take me a few to set one up because I'm going to take me a quick break between the show. Mark, Mark says it's 9 o'clock Biden time. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just timed him out for that. Yeah, but it's eight. It's eight o'clock of Obama time. Oh man, got him. picture just rolling by. Everybody's on Mark about that. We've seen some good marks come through. Yep. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen any of them. No. This is the one that's always in chat. Yeah. Yeah. That is not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't even say anything bad. <laughs> since we don't have any, um, since we don't have a bragging board tonight, and it's running on a little over an hour, an hour and 10 minutes or so. I think we're going to knock it off that way. If Chad wants to go live, him and Dee and Tom, that they can do so after the show. We'll save Josh's voice a little bit. Mine's not a problem out there. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, the bragging board will be going next week. So if you catch any fish, they do not have to be catfish. We'll take any kind of fish. Any or, kind of fish. Yeah, or anything else that you harvest that's legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Send it to Josh. And here there's, is the information. There's the information up on your screen. Send it to pics at theweekendangler.com. We'll get it put on the bragging board. And talk about it, and it'll be up next week. Chad, Tom, D, thank you guys so much for going live in the boat tonight. We appreciate it very much. Thanks Thanks for for the boat. Thanks for having us. Hey, Thanks for making our cooking show, Tom. Yep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're going to get out of here. We got the um, um, Panfish Nation Wednesday night, the bait shop Thursday night. Stan and Jody Friday night, and we'll be back here. I, I don't know who all else. I can't keep up with them all anymore. There's so many. We'll be back next Monday night at 7 Central Time right here on Catfish Weekly. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you then. See you, everybody. See you.